So we worked together like years ago on a track piece of me for Rear's Bastard. Oh, yeah, shout out to Spearhead Records. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it was like we always talked about one day we'll do a song together. We loved it, but like we just never got round to it. Did no. we? Life gets in the way. And sort of round about the start of the beginning of the project is when we saw that post in EQ50 and the details of the PRS grant. So I said to you, do you know what? Maybe this is the opportunity for us to do something together. Basically one day at work, I just got this email through saying, your application has been accepted. You've been awarded the money. It was a sign from the universe saying, girl, you can do this. And we really was happy to be representing yeah. women in drum and bass. Right, what's the list? Who do we want on this? Yeah. Let's hit everybody up. All of our friends. We want it to be really special people that we've worked yeah. with that we just absolutely love. We started with Visages, we got this six track off there, and then we got the six track off Wine. And then the next thing you know, we had like 14 tracks. <laughs> Two Sides of Everything, what the album is called, the reason behind that is, uh, well, we was at Ronnie Sizer's studio, and he was like, oh girls, you know, I'd really like it if you write something a bit more controversial. And I don't know, we got into this really deep conversation. And then I was saying, you know, it's just like two sides of everything. And then he went, and he went out and write down his phone. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, it's like, I, I like might that. have that. I might I'm like, no, we're having that. that. We're not having that. <laughs> we're only having that. Then we started making the songs more a conversation, didn't we? Like, yeah, we wanted it to be like we're having a chat. But we hadn't really distilled it down into thinking, oh, okay, we could put this into lyric, like you say one thing, maybe you're feeling a bit down or insecure about something, and I'll put across a different viewpoint. Like, no, you know, this is another way to think about it. E1. We booked out Pirate Studio. Oh god! We, we were like, we've got, we've got to actually go. The day after this. hospitality in the, the woods, after fine. Hospitality, which is such a bad idea. It was my first festival back and first performance in like two years, right? I'm like shouting out for everything. Oh yeah, you doing it? Our oh, voices were right. shot on that Monday. The next morning, I was like, yeah. hello. And then we had to go to Pirate Studios. One of our DJs was giving us these looks behind the decks because we'd start singing and we'd just be out of tune. They were just, like, Shh, like, it's gonna yeah. be better than this on the night. It's gonna be better than this on the night. <laughs> like, no party in the night before. Yeah. We spent quite a lot of time thinking about how this is all gonna come together. Um, you know, we were thinking about the tunes we wanted to play. Obviously, we wanted to get most of the album in there, but then we wanted to get some of our best known tracks of our own yeah to break it up because you know our album's only just yeah. come out not everyone's gonna know no, the no, songs yeah. yet whereas if we play like our solo classics yeah. thrown in there people are like oh yeah this one this one also it's just really nice because some of your tracks i like, absolutely love like same as with you and so when page. when it comes on it's nice for you to just have your little moment then we can just support each other in those yeah. little moments yeah. Mad how things have kind of turned out yeah. for us. Like we, we were raving together ever since we were younger in the same room and but we didn't know each other didn't know each other